<laughs> We'd have to actually make it. That's, oh, that's probably not gonna happen. What are you? You got a little ghost coming. It looks very Lennoxy. Are you Lennox? Oi. Oh gosh, I'm having a weak moment. I'm having a weak moment. Oh my goodness. Look, look at them. Look how gorgeous they are. This is a bird that we don't have yet, but we aspire to have one day. I am off and running today. First stop is trying to find an area rug for the area where I want to put my pool table because I realized when I went to order the pool table, oh wait, you need to put the rug down first. So here I am at a special warehouse where it is um, by appointment only and they're supposed to have really good prices and I'm gonna see what I can find. And after that, I am going to Goodwill. So if you're not into the rug stuff, you can just fast forward and uh, I won't have too much on there. Oh, and my other phone is ringing. Oh my goodness, I'm having a really, really hard time making a decision. So I need a big, I need like a, a nine by or a 10 by. Cause the room is like 14 by 14. And then I have to have enough room for it to go under a pool table. Like I like this, but it's only seven foot wide, which is not wide enough. I need it to be at least 10 foot wide. And how do you make decisions? Oh wait, what's this one? Eight bites. No, that's not wide enough either. Hmm. And then I really know I, I do want to go with like a blue. And then they got, I mean, lots of small rugs that I really, really like. Oh, how to make a decision. And I could go with a neutral, but do I really want a neutral? I don't know if I want a neutral. I do like this, this braided rug here, but it's only Again, it's only eight foot. That's a little too gray. That's a little too peach. That's a little too brown. Why is this so tough? Why is this so tough to make a decision? Okay, I pulled this one out. I'm trying to decide if this is the one. Is this the one? I don't know if this is the one. It's got different, different shades of blue. But is it going to clash if I get a different color blue on the pool table felt or my bar stools that are blue? Do I go with something more neutral? Like there's a gray, but the gray has like a little hint of like blue ish gray in it. I mean, that could, that could work too. And that one's nine by 12 and, or do I go really wild with the one with the birds on it? Like, look, wait, where'd I see it? That's a bird, right? I see a bird. I see a bird walking. Cause I'm kind of digging that one too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm, I think I, I think I am kind of uh, digging this one. I think, I think this could be the one. I think. Because the other thing is when I get the pool table and the wear and the natural wear occurs, it's gonna all it's gonna go blend together. in. Right. All right, let's do that one. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Well, I'm excited. Um, this this is where I got it. There, there. They have. Whoop! <laughs> it's blowing away. Liquidationrugs.com. Go check them out. They're in the Las Vegas area, and they have some really cool stuff. And they folded it all nice for me so it would fit in my little Kia. And now I'm off to Goodwill. So this is where I just bought that rug. Um, very super, super nice couple. And uh, that's the website. They have more than just rugs too. And they do delivery in the Las Vegas area. So uh, definitely, uh, oh, there's, there you go. If you're looking for a rug, this is your rug lady right here. Thank you, Tamara. That was, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just covering the barcode so that all of your phones don't act super weird or my phone, actually, so my phone doesn't act super weird <laughs> when I'm showing you this and start trying to uh, scan the barcode, but, but just go to their website right there. 
there you go. All right, I feel pretty good. Got a rug, that was a big hurdle. Also got some shelves hung today over my aquarium and like little things, just little things are starting to come together and that feels super good. So uh, I'm at Goodwill because now it is time to shop. Now it is time to continue to fill my inventory shelves with good things to resell. So uh, I'm in here, I'm over on the other side of town. I don't come to this one very often, but I have to pick up Noah when I get done shopping. So here we are. And uh, I'm gonna get in there and see what I can find. So let's get shop done. Ooh, it's really, really bright and sunny out here. Let's get inside and, hi. I need a lucky cart. Which one is lucky? That one right there. Let's do it. All right, got to peruse. It looks like they are just getting their Halloween out. Just getting their Halloween out. So not quite ready for the Halloween yet. I just spotted this though. How cute is that shirt? The candy thief. It almost looks like Ozzy too. I almost want to get this for Ozzy. But Ozzy hates, he hates costumes. So we won't do it. Eh, we'll mix it up a little bit today since I'm already over at the purses. I will peruse the purses. And don't forget, somewhere in today's video will be a clue that uh, you need to take note of in order to win. What does that say? Dekeen? Uh, in order to win a virtual ticket, a virtual ticket to the Boss Reseller Remix. So I will be giving away two of uh, those tickets. And, uh, but you gotta, you gotta follow the clues in today's video and the next video, which I think, let's see, this is gonna be, yeah, yeah, it's two videos in a row. Whenever this comes out, it's the next one. So <laughs> make sure you're subscribed and uh, you are getting notifications of when I'm going live. So you make sure that you don't miss out on those clues. All right, just watch for that. Somewhere, it'll be in here somewhere. I don't even know what it's gonna be yet. I just know that it's gonna be here. Yeah, I'm kind of looking back here in the furniture because I'm still looking for that piece where I can set um, Hope and Priscilla's tortoise tables on. They're on our bathroom counters right now. I kind of like this. I think it's a good width. I just don't know if it's long enough. I wonder if anybody around here has a tape measure. Shoot, because that's it's kind of a cool little cabinet. All right, it's really super duper heavy, and uh, I just don't even want to deal with it right now. I feel like I looked up one of these before, and, they're, and they weren't bad. This one's missing some of his little floof there, but um, it's an interesting oh, macrame wall hanging. Turn any style, starved space, into an insta-worthy interior with his macrame craft kit. Well, let's look inside. And it is a gray tag, so it's, oh, we'd have to actually make it. That's, oh, that's probably not going to happen for me. Hmm, I'll leave that. I'll leave that to a craftier person than I. And we'll look for something that does not need to be crafted in order to uh, sell and make money. He's gray tag too. It's kind of a cute little duck. I know I'm a sucker for a cute little duck. It's a good live sale item, but um, okay, no, chippy. Lots of chippies, I can leave him. It's difficult to leave him, but I can leave him. Ooh, that is a copy of a Hager, like their Hager copying wannabe kind of a thing. I don't know, did Hager make a cute cat versus just the kind of the abstract cat? I don't know, but we're going to leave that too. I feel like I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Mikey Bags and Money's neck of the woods and I'm channeling some of his, his pickiness. MJ, is this a bosun or bosun? No, this is a desert. Fox. Oh, it is a bosun's. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is marked as Desert Hawks must be the name of the thing, and then it's come on, come on, do it, camera focus. There we go. Bosun's. You can see it on there. He's in pretty good shape. A lot of times these things are, I mean, yeah, there's a little damage there, and 
A little damage there, but not bad. Not bad for five bucks. So we'll pick him up. Got some pretty plates down here. Not marked, and it's got a crack. That one, let's see. That is a trademark crack. Hmm. Pretty, but a plate nonetheless. What are you? You got a little ghost coming. It looks very Lennox-y. Are you Lennox? You are Lennox. Oh, you're also $25. All right, never mind. Thought I had a score there. Thought I had a score. Rio de Janeiro. Look at this tray. It's interesting, but I don't know. Is that how it's supposed to be with all that? Kind of peeking through cardboard. It's cardboard peeking through. Mm. It's kind of big too. Kind of big. Let's see. It's just like a mama and baby deer. They're just made in China. The baby's two ninety nine. Well, the mama's only two ninety nine too. So the set would be about six bucks. They are kind of nice. I mean, I'm even thinking like personal decorating, you know, me and liking the little creatures. Mm, what to do? I, I think I'm, I think I'm putting these guys in the cart. If they're worth selling, I'll sell them. If they're not worth selling, I'll keep them. So we've got a, it's a, it's a nativity that is Atlantic mold. So this was like a, a hobby set for someone and there's no Jesus and there's no Mary and there's only well is there no that's not a wise man there's a Joseph it's like there's too many pieces missing too many Jesus is missing you can't do it you can get away with missing a few other characters but not Jesus it's all about Jesus these are pretty whoa ten bucks ten bucks each too it's not even like ten bucks for the pair Hmm, right. And there's like, I don't see a name. No, there's, they're not signed. No, they're just expensive. All right, let's keep going. These are cute, but they're not anything too exciting. <gasps> Oi. Hmm, the shelves are a little sparse. I wonder what's going on with that. They getting ready to stock up on stuff or is stuff just not coming i know there is a new goodwill opening in town and i'm wondering if things are being diverted over there to get that nice and full for their grand opening i suspect that is probably a thing you know i don't sell candles but i gotta look i gotta look all right i don't see anything here in the knickknackers what is that? Take branches on a tree. We call, we all grow in different directions, but our roots remain as one. It's kind of nice. I do like reading all the uh, different little signage that's out there. Oh my goodness, look at, look at the chicken and the rooster. Oh, they're gray tagged, so only five bucks each. It's pretty scratched up though. Mmm, what to do, what to do. It did, it is an open road. Came from Hobby Lobby, 25, so it would have been half price to 12.50. It's not bad, it's not a, not, a, not a horrible price. All right, I think I have to put the chickens in the cart. And then this is just on wood, this little pub sign. I was hoping it was metal. But it is not, and this is interesting because it's it's got hinges. Why does it have hinges? You know, I'm gonna give it its own shelf down here now, since there's a room. Somebody had a acoustic electric $100 price on there, but it's literally a cigar box. It's a cigar box guitar. What do they have it priced at? $40, $40, all right. Hmm, 
work hard and be nice to people. You know, I, I kind of like that motto. I kind of like that motto a lot. Ooh, that's, that's definitely vintage. Are you broken anywhere? You are not broken anywhere and you are half price at only $1.50. So we'll take you. Let's move the Nerf gun and see this peacock. Beautiful thing. There are some gleeful children behind me. It's shell. Some of the shells are kind of coming apart. That's the problem. Little broken pieces here and there. Mm, sadly, I think I am going to leave that. I know that might make some people unhappy, but it's just a little bit more fragile and breaking than I want to deal with. It's got a little jewelry box. Rough condition. Very rough condition. All you need is love and a dog. I say all you need is love from a dog. <laughs> oh, goodness. What is that? A drapery... Hmm. Okay. Man, I just paid way more than I should for curtain rods that were not very high quality and I'm regretting buying them, but I needed them. It was like I had to have them. This is cute. Like even without the jars, this is like one of those super cute chicken wire-y kind of uh, things that I love so much. I just don't know what I would put in the jars if I kept the jars in there. I don't know what I would put in the thing if I just kept the thing. What would you do? What would you do with this piece? And what is this? Look at that. Now that's kind of cool. I don't know, let me get it on a clear floor here. It's this really intricate, kind of bent metal basket. How much are you? Stand by. You're only $2.99? All right, you're coming home with us. Oop, let's get to where you can see you. There we go. And this is a really nice piece. It is a cast iron. Uh, I don't know what, I guess you could put like music sheets in there or, I don't know, what would, okay, what would you use this piece for? I feel like it's $7.99. This is just too nice to pass up. So you let me know what you would do with this piece. It's kind of opening there, see? And uh, I'll pick it up and then we'll figure it out together. <sighs> then we have some aluminum palm tree candle sconces, which are pretty bent and in rough shape, but they're kind of, it's kind of neat to find a, a pair. You don't often find complete sets of things in the Goodwill. And we have a tin rose, which is also kind of cool, but not cool enough for me to put it in the cart. You know, I know. I love them. I love the berries. I love the whole Knott's Berry Farm-esque thing of it, but I have two that I haven't figured out where to go with. So I certainly should not buy another one, and I am not going to buy another one. So that's me being picky. All right, clear glass section here, and I spotted this little guy. It says Oland, and it's got a windmill. Kind of reminds me of a uh, Orifers, although I'm not seeing a mark on the bottom at all. But it's only a dollar. I don't. I don't think that's a name. I think that is supposed to signify like a place. Right? Yeah? Anyway, for a dollar, I'm picking her up. I know. I know. I know. Mikey Bags of Money would not have picked that up. Even if it was only a dollar. See, that's me. That's I just can't. It's My conscience would haunt me because then I'd go, that's going to end up in the, in the bins and ultimately the landfill if I don't save it. And this is a dragonfly. And it's contemporary. Uh, but it's really kind of cool. Look at that. It hangs. What? You put a candle in it. And it's only $3.99. Uh, so I must have it. You got some big old vases up there. What is this? 
Interesting little paint job there. Looks like an Asian kind of motif. Doesn't super call to me. Isaac Mizrahi. Always just looking at the bottom of all this stuff. Pick it up, look at it, you never know. That's a hobby piece. Pretty stinking adorable hobby piece. See, that's a dollar and I'm not gonna pick that up. I can let that one go. I can indeed. All right. Wait, see this one does not have a dragonfly. I can let that one go too. And look at this one. You're kind of cool. Oh, that's interesting with the little blob of the glaze on the bottom. I feel like there's like, that's a signature kind of a thing for whoever signed it here. Interesting. It's $3.99. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. All right, I'm grabbing that one. And so it's super funny that when I watched Mikey Bags and Money's last video, I saw this and he passed right by it and I thought it was glass. And I was like, oh, it's glass with dolphins on it? But it's not, it's acrylic. It is plasticky. Even though I know, I know Rachel would probably love it. She just doesn't have room. She doesn't have room. I'm trying to get her better quality things uh, and to use her space that she has for just some higher quality. This looks like, like some salt rock. Thought it might have been rose quartz at first, but it's not. And there's all the bridesmaids bouquets. All right, we're hitting the plastics, which is a little sparse, but I saw this guy. And I am gonna be doing a Halloween sale here fairly soon. I kind of like him for $2.99. So I'm going to add him to my repertoire for my Halloween sale. All right. No excitement in the plastic aisle today. None at all. It's actually a little bit on the boring side, including the uh, Pioneer Woman plastic cups. Hmm. Okay. Now we're in the kitchen stuff. Look at this little spongeware ashtray. It does have a name underneath there. Let's see. I have like no nails to peel. Oh good, it came up. Very, very easy and I still can't tell who that is. Goodness. It's $3.99. It's kind of cute. Do I want it? I think I do. I think I do. It's going in the cart. Ooh, I see something that says Tommy Bahama. It is a little shirt dish. Probably came in a set. So I'm not sure one single Tommy Bahama little dish is worth a whole lot. And it's chipped. All right, well, that makes that decision easier. A nice cut glass piece. It is not American Brilliant. Oh, let's see. Sort of been a little, I think chopsticks would go on there maybe? Like a little sushi tray? Is that? I don't know. I'm guessing. I don't know for sure. Oh, there's that pattern that always, always draws me in. But I don't. I don't pick it up because it doesn't sell. It doesn't sell. This looks Italian. I see something that says Tiffany on it. Why does it say Tiffany? Tiffany. You're designed by Brew something. Oh, it's $25. Okay, that's why you are still gonna sit there for quite some time. Unfortunate, because there's a new home waiting for it. Someone to love it, but not at that price. That is a vintage bean pot. But at $14.99, that is definitely a no-go. Okay. Well, I think we're going to escape through this section without getting a thing. Yes, indeed. There is nothing here today. All right, let's see what the mugs have to hold today. I do love the little s'mores mug. 
He's only a dollar. Is there anything wrong with him? No, he's clean as a whistle and super adorable, so we'll pick him up for a dollar. These look a little vintagey. They kind of look like Francoma, but they are not marked. We'll leave those. See what's down here. I do see the pug. He kind of looks like a dollar store kind of version, and he also feels like a dollar store kind of version. So we'll leave him for someone else who will find joy in him, I'm sure. And we'll move on to the clear glasses. Let's see. I wish there was a couple of these. I like the looks of these. A little cloudy. Probably been through the dishwasher about a gazillion times. <sighs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <gasps> I found its friends. Okay, now the dilemma is they are $2 each. I do believe these are Mikasa in the, not Mikasa. Is it Mikasa? Yeah, it is Mikasa in the Cheers pattern. Um, I've gotten other shapes of this and I, I usually do really well with them, but that would be an $8 investment. Do I want to invest $8? I do kind of love these. I, I really do. I got a thing for them. The shape is just really kind of fantastic. Oh gosh, I'm having a weak moment. I'm having a weak moment. I'm putting them in the cart. I looked down and I just spotted these little blue tags on here. So I just wanted to see what it said. And is it's Rydell made in Austria, but it's just a, it's just a clear glass. I mean, it does have a fancy little stem, but there's only one too. So. I'm gonna leave that. I'm already, already going, oh no, I got more glasses to deal with. These are not drinking glasses. These, these are for candles, right? Is it a candle holder or is it, is it something completely different? I don't know, what would you do with those? Can you even see them? Can you see with all the, look at, see it's like got a little chimney. I don't know. I don't know about those. All right, let's see what other exciting things we can find, if any. Mm -hmm. Nothing that is really, really exciting me other than what I already put in the cart. I see a piece of Mexican pottery back here that's really kind of pretty. $6.99. Yeah, is it six ninety nine worth? Yeah, not for me. Not not for me. Not today. Just I know. I know. I'm sorry. <sighs> I know I'm disappointing someone. I don't like to disappoint anyone. But I also have to be sensible. I do have to be sensible. Look at this little divided dish. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. His little plate hanger is stuck. Stand by. There we go. There we go. We got him. We got him. He's a Mikasa. I would not have guessed that that was Mikasa. I really hate these plate hangers. Really hate them. Look how cute that is. But we're going to leave him. We're going to leave him. I got to get a little pickier. I got to do it. I got to do it. Look at this little, is like this like a berry? A berry kind of a basket thing with an underplate. Let's see what the underplate is. Lillian Vernon. Lillian Vernon. So I'm assuming that says Lillian Vernon under that one. It's got a little crazing. This is really cute. It's a little on the heavy side. So buck fifty plus four. So it's five fifty for that little set. Definitely vintage. Definitely vintage. And Lillian Vernon is not bad. People have like a little draw to Lillian Vernon. I think I'm gonna put this one in the cart. Got lemons. Ah, oh, let's see. Are these glass or plastic? Oh, it is glass. They're made by somebody. Uh, I can't read it. Maybe you read it from the inside. 
It's not Libby. I can tell you that. It's not Libby. Ocean. It just says Ocean. There we go. And there is a set, but we'll leave those for someone else, as we will also leave this piece uh, that is a flashed on glass, meaning that blue and that green will chip off. But I do have to look at the bunny. He is really cute. Just this happy Easter. It's two dollars. Easter is a ways away, I gotta say. I'm gonna leave the bunny for now and wish him well. All right, we're in the cooking section here and the small appliances, which I don't take much heed in unless there's just something like really super cool that I might want for personal use. You know, like a French fry cutter for Noah because Noah does make homemade French fries all the time. You know what? That's going in the cart for Noah. Hot, cold iPads. That's kind of hilarious. All right, let's see if there's anything exciting in the mishmash shelves. Oh, those are kind of cool. Little Chinese lantern hangings. That one's a little messed up. Uh, I don't see anything on this side, so let's keep rolling. All right, what do we have on this side? Paper pups. 20 easy to make puppies and they're all in there okay Rachel Rachel would actually really love that so ah, Rachel scores again Rachel scores again oh, what do we have here a schleggy decorative trim you know some of this stuff can be super expensive I think I'll scan this one for my buddy Mikey bags of money because this would be right up his alley if it's good reseller only one sold at $14, so we will pass it on by. Things are always worth looking up, though. If you're in doubt, look it up. It just might be that item that can make you some really, really good money. And we got a little music case. I was just about to give up on this aisle, and I'm still giving up on this aisle. Ooh la la, we have the little uh, French bulldogs with the mustache, uh, salt and pepper. They're only $2.99. You know I have to get those. Pet section is pretty wiped out. And then we got a sports section that I'm not a big buyer in. But I do kind of look at the, the mitts and stuff since hanging out with my friends. It's just... You know, I always want to keep myself educated on how much things are going for. Oh, what kind of balls are red and yellow with a white cue ball? What game is you played with red and yellow balls and a cue ball? That is going to be the clue for your entry into a virtual ticket for the Boss Reseller Remix. So send your answer. Do not put it in the comments. Send your answer to the niche lady at gmail.com don't put it in the comments don't do it i'll have to erase it and that doesn't count as an entry you gotta email it to me so that i can put your name into the entry that is your clue i was walking to the back here to look at the lamps and this caught my eye i think it's wood it's i'm not sure what its purpose is other than just a shelf a little alcove shelf design toscano Winthrop Court Wall Niche. It is 20 bucks, but I'm gonna look it up because this could be like a really expensive piece. Winthrop Court Wall Niche. All right, be right back. Okay, this is kind of crazy because there are some listed as high as like $279. There are no recent solds. Ah, what to do? It's pretty awesome. So I think for $20, I could definitely flip that for sixty to eighty dollars in a heartbeat. So I'm picking that. I'm picking that up. All right. Now we're gonna look at the lamps. And the first one that caught my eye was the uh, little Doctor Who. But this is it's it's kind of messed up. The doors are 
yeah, it's kind of it's kind of tweaked, but it is cool. All right, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking, looking, looking for anything that's just completely irresistible. Hmm, nothing. Let's see if there's any shades that are irresistible. Hmm, nothing on that today either. These are cute little boudoir lamps. Those are cute. They are vintage. Mmm. $5.99 each. Oh, what to do, what to do. No, resist, Danny, resist. You just, you can't take that on right now. All right, look at this cute little wax warmer. I don't know who makes it. It's small. It's like a little, it's a little dainty size. Let's see if you sand or here if you're made by anybody. Mm, no, no, they don't see. And it is little, uh peace symbols in kind of rainbow colors for $4.99. We are going to grab that. Let's look through the art. What is this? Hair. Kind of like a movie poster. That's interesting. And Lord of the Flies. I don't know. This is not really my niche. Not really my niche. Once we're warriors. And then that's a nice little piece of art there. Nan Griffin, Silent Village from St. Petersburg. It's $2.50. I love picking up this kind of art. I see a little black and white Lilo and Stitch. I'm not sure what that's all about. But I could sell this in my Disney themed whatnot sale. There are Lilo and Stitch lovers. All right. Let's grab that for two bucks. I gotta say, their art section is pretty empty. That's highly unusual for Goodwill. Wonder what's going on. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Look, look at them. Look how gorgeous they are. This is a bird that we don't have yet, but we aspire to have one day. It's only $15. Well, you know. Let's see, it was 25 at Ross. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. That means I'm saving $10 on the lovely piece of artwork for my bedroom. And then I spotted this. This is really cool. It's on metal. And it's got this crazy fish design. And this looks like real inlaid abalone. That is interesting. For just $5.99, we're going to grab that too. Look at this really pretty wood plant stand that I found. I love this and it's only $18. It is wood, it's nice. I'm grabbing that for me. This looks like a really nice set of placemats, but there's only two. I wish there was more, I love the colors. Love the colors. I mean, I know, there's, there's tables for two. I don't know, two bucks. I could probably turn that two bucks into 10 or 12 pretty easy, but I have to go for a bigger price point than that right now. I'll leave that for somebody else. <laughs> I just realized I turned this over to put it in the cart. It's Bombay Company. Super good quality. Yeehaw. As I look through the plush a little bit, I, this is something I also saw on Mikey's video. It's a Build-A-Bear Smurfs that I am going to look up. Uh, and then after that, I'm headed to the checkout where I will uh, then give you a recap of everything I bought. I'll tell you what I paid, how much it's worth, and uh, how much it will sell for on eBay. So stay tuned for that after I give all this plush a little once over. All right, coming up.
really a good Goodwill shopping trip. I mean, I did get some things for myself, but I got some really high quality things for the, like, okay, because you don't know what's in my brain right now. I'm thinking about keeping the wood nook. I'm thinking about it. If I can find a place for it, because I kind of love it, I might keep it. But I know I can sell it for the cost of what I paid for everything. That was a fantastic shopping trip. All right, I am on to my next store. But you will have to come back to the next video to not only see that shopping trip, uh, but also to get clue number two for your chance to win a ticket to the Boss Reseller Remix, which is happening in Las Vegas, Nevada, October 11th through the 13th. There are still tickets available, but I don't know for how much longer. So if you can get there in person, I highly, highly recommend it if you are a reseller. You will learn so much and you will walk away with things that will improve your reselling business. All right, with that, I'll see you on the next one. You, go be profitable and make it fun.